You're listening to WUJP 91.3 FM Jam Pack Radio, Hempstead, New York. guys enjoyed the performance right there for Just Believe Live. It was in Toledo. It was done a couple years ago at the LaGrange Music Festival, and I'd like to thank those uh, participants, all those people that uh, performed and worked on it. And, you know, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work preparing uh, productions and stuff like that. But let's just jump right on into the marriage and relationships. Okay, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be straightforward, but however, I will not say any names to protect the people, um, you know, their, uh, their, their privacy and whatnot. 
and I really don't want to speak any names and, and anything like that so that there's no negativity or anything like that. However, to start it off, I've been married three times, okay? Your boy right here has been married three times. My first marriage, it was about uh, 10 years to be exact. Got married real young and I've always believed in that. Being an only child makes you believe in marriage, especially if your grandparents and people like that have been married for years and that's all you really know. You don't really know any other way to have a relationship sometimes because that's what they, you know, they just beat that into your head and into your heart that you got to get married. And uh, in this day and age, I think that jumping right into marriage is, is, is a mistake. But I'll, I'll further talk about that. But uh, like I said, my first marriage, um, you know, I had two kids out of it. And uh, my oldest son is by my first girlfriend, which was a relationship for a very long period of time um, through high school and, and all that. And, and we, you know, we didn't wind up getting married, but, you know, I still loved her very much and, um, you know, moved on and moved to Los Angeles um, with, the, with the marriage, it was whatnot. And I had two children, like I said. And through that marriage, what I discovered, you know, was really the person that I was really trying to be. You know, not the person that I was, that I already was. And, you know, the person that I was trying to be um, on both sides of the fence was a family man and an entrepreneur, you know, with what I was trying to do musically. And that was the purpose why we even moved to Los Angeles and took a chance, you know what I mean? But during that time, I think we lost respect for one another um, in that first marriage. Um, and we grew out of, you know, love. And that happens sometimes because you get so caught up in trying to live from day to day and then you go back on the history of your past and the mistakes that you made and then you also bring your family members in you know sometimes that's not a good idea to always talk to your family members about your problems and you know i had to learn that uh in that first marriage you know it was like man you know you get people involved in your family it just kind of and then i had moved away and she was still there before i got married and it just kind of like made the whole situation very very delicate you know uh, when we finally put it together away from home and it was just us and we had to deal with just us and you come to find out and you come to realize that you don't have a lot in common uh, anymore like you used to you know what I mean because this is grown up shit now you know what I'm saying so hey you know that's how it go but I never regret it you know uh, being married never Love the situation of being married, uh, which brings me to my second marriage. I think that um, after I got divorced from the first one, which was a long time to be uh, married for 10 years at starting at 21 years old, you know, um, and been together that long. So the second marriage, I was really adamant about being married. And I think my partner at the time on the second marriage wasn't. So we kind of got that in all quick, pretty quick, um, you know, after a couple of years. But her family was great, you know what I'm saying? And her family was great. Uh, the second marriage, we still get along today. And it's not like I don't love her either. But it was we found out, <laughs> and, you know, again, uh, by me being uh, very enthusiastic and, uh, and a person that was uh, ambitious, you know, I couldn't sit still in one space, in one place. And sometimes, you know, uh, your mate can get complacent and they don't want to move when you want to move. And that's where the conflict was uh, with that, you know. And the situation with my third marriage, you know, um, she was younger. She was quite a bit younger, uh, quite ambitious. But I feel like, you know, my age and my wisdom sometimes overpowered her, um, her thinking. You know, and I think a lot has to do with the fact that me uh, wanting to move out of state and leave Toledo, Ohio. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, you, you know, you just think you're this, you're that. No, it's not that. I just think that you have dreams that are bigger than where you really are. And you have to seek them out 
And if a person is not willing to, you don't have to say follow, but be beside you in it, in all your dreams, I think that, you know, that's where the conflict comes in. And I've always had conflict because people weren't ready to move and I was ready to move. And that doesn't mean just moving out of state or moving to a different city, just moving in life in general. And I just think that that's where all the conflict starts is when you've got to be in competition with one another in your marriage and your relationships and stuff like that. And I just think that if there's anything that you really have in mind uh, in your heart that you got to do for you, I think you might want to get that out of your system first before you really settle down and get into a, a real serious relationship unless that person is really showing you the support from the beginning. Because people lose interest, and we all do. And, you know, every person in the world is entitled to change their mind. And we have to be willing to face that reality when we get into relationships.